up on what has been considered an Apollo spaceship landing. We're going to see if it actually occurred. Heard you can see it off this road somewhere. I kind of doubt it. You know, people say a lot of stuff that ain't true. But Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look. It's got a U.S. flag on it with NASA. Oh my God. It was true. My challenges are that the, we've had a lot of rain. The uh, lake is up uh, approximately about five five and a half feet from where it was last time. Um, had a cold front come in. Um, of course the uh, water temperature is up 56 which is fine. Another issue I have is that the uh, barometric pressure is rising considerably. I'm going to start using this as a barometer. It's, it's off about seven points or seven dots. Um, compared to what I, when I see the local local uh, forecast, but you can see right now it's barely in the blue. When I came this morning, it was there was about a you know about a half inch of blue, so it's rising quick. Here's the local conditions. It's 43 and feels like 34 in the wind, but I'm not in that wind. Um, and it's showing 30.27 so it's kind of in that range where it's getting up where I don't like it um, but we'll see how it goes I caught a couple of these uh, golden shiners uh, that's looking like it's a possibly a red-eared sunfish and that is a red-eared sunfish so uh, that's what I'm gonna bait in with catfish or a gar or something but you hit pretty hard on that rod so see if we can't bump something out of here so that you can go fishing with me from the warmth of your home and the, the comfort of your lazy boy recliner with your blankie would you mind hitting the subscribe button
noticed my line was way off from where it was supposed to be. Like something got a hold of it. came loose from the tree again but this time you know I usually tie a knot now but my anchor in the back's gonna hold me while I finish up I'm gonna call it a day it, it is my opinion that at a rising swiftly rising barometric pressure seriously shuts the fish down and because two weeks ago I was out here, it was already high and still rising. Uh, all I got was that one bite at the end of the day when it started dropping, but it was still high. You know, that fish that I got a hold of that broke my line. So I can see right now that with it no, nothing but rising, it's just going to be a slow day like this. Uh, it would be hit and miss if I ever got another bite. So it's cold, windy. I'm gonna go home and I hate to send y'all with just one fish but I wanted to also use this as a chance to give you some information about the barometric pressure being a problem. Uh, I really do after and I'm gonna keep monitoring it as I go um, because I think it's a very important part of fishing apparently but I've had two instances where it was high and rising and turned out horrible and then the other times it's been really good biting in here because I this area I always get good biting it's just I think that pressure just shuts them down so we'll catch you on the next one you and me meant to be